Hello guys, today we'll be making and recrystallizing benzoic acid. Benzoic acid is a colorless crystalline solid which was discovered in the 16th century. On an industrial scale, it's produced by partial oxidation of toluene, but we'll be making it by reacting sodium benzoate with hydrochloric acid. When we mix them together, a double displacement reaction takes place, since benzoic acid is a weaker acid than HCl. So first, we measure out about 40 milliliters of water and put it in a beaker. We weigh out 16 grams of sodium benzoate and add them to the water. Since I had two packs with 8 grams each, I didn't bother to weigh it. Mix until everything dissolves. Measure out 11 milliliters of 32% hydrochloric acid. Since it's so concentrated, you can see clouds of HCl fumes. When we add the hydrochloric acid, we can immediately see a precipitate forming. Since benzoic acid is basically insoluble in room temperature water, it drops out of solution as white clumps. After adding all of the hydrochloric acid, we get a, a THICK slurry. Oh yeah! Damn! Damn, boy! Damn, boy! He's thick, boy! That's a thick-ass boy! Damn! Ba -ba! We add some water to the beaker to make the filtration a bit easier. After filtering everything, we wash our precipitate with water to get rid of any sodium chloride and excess hydrochloric acid. We crush up our nugget of benzoic acid and let it dry for a couple of hours. Excess drying is pointless since we'll be recrystallizing it anyway. We got 12.88 grams which is a 95% yield. It could be better if I wasn't so damn sloppy with the filtration. Now we'll be recrystallizing 11 grams of benzoic acid. Even though it's basically insoluble in water at room temperature, its solubility increases to 5.6 grams per 100 milliliters of water at about 100 degrees Celsius. So boil 200 milliliters of water and add your benzoic acid. This shot looks pretty cool. It looks like a snow globe. If only snow was made out of benzoic acid. After getting everything in solution, we take our beaker off the hot plate and let it cool down. We get beautiful needle-like crystals, a time lapse of which will be at the end of the video. We decant the wastewater down the drain and filter out our pretty crystals. We dry everything and there we go, chemically pure benzoic acid made from a food preservative.